January 27th, 2023. How's it going, guys? Got another video for you. What we're going to talk about today, you know, over the last couple of years, since, you know, when they had, everybody had that illness and stuff, there was a lot of things going on. And there was a lot of businesses that went out of business. But then there was a lot of businesses that popped up. One of those out here in this area was uh, haircut and salons. Now, which I found that amazing. Why would you have like 25, 30 haircut and salons just pop up overnight? It's kind of weird, isn't it? Now, I bring this up and you got to hold on a minute so you see where I'm going with this. Last night I had a pickup truck that was sitting across the street from me. Looked like it was broke down. And I give everybody a benefit of the doubt. And it does sometimes take a while for a tow truck to get there. So, I waited for about 20 minutes. It kept sitting there. So, I went outside, walked around the property, checked everything, made sure my gates were secure and stuff. And then I went and I started my car up for a bit. I thought, eh, if I go out and drive around a little bit, see what's going on. Because there's been a lot more activity over here. Again, over here in Independence, Missouri, on East 47th Street, between that Chrysler and North Lake. So, the windows had already frosted. It was light. And I'm sure you guys, if you had a vehicle sitting across from your house for a while, you'd be kind of looking at it. I mean, I would hope you would think. I would not think that you would just ignore something like that, especially in this day and age. So the truck took off and my window had defrosted. And I went on up the hill. This truck had Kansas tags on it, which ain't unusual because we have a lot of Kansas, Missouri going back and forth. But at one time we used to not have very many Kansas come over on this side. But we have a lot more of it. Getting on with that for a second. So I drove around for a bit too. And I noticed something. I noticed up here, I was told by somebody that Blue View, the shopping center area up here, had brought in some of the problems too. Well, I don't know. I, I just going on what somebody else had told me. So been kind of watching. I had tracked a few of these other vehicles up there. And I had posted some even videos from, a, you know, we had a, people from drug dealing even up there to a dumpster diver that was crawling in up there and stuff. That's also at the top of the hill. That's Kansas City, Missouri side up there when you get up that far. And uh, that's where they had, had those two guys handcuffed on the ground up there and stuff. Where they also where the AMR was also up there on further on up the hill. But what I found interesting was the haircutting salon place was open. Now, at 11.45 at night, they're cutting hair. Well, I find that strange. And I'll tell you why I find that strange, because I have never seen any place that late open for cutting your hair. Most time to cut off is around six o'clock. Maybe, you know, you might get some places, might be eight, but that would be it. Now, you might think, well, that's no big deal. Well, I, I differ on that just a little bit. Now, like I said, I used to go out west all the time. Go out to California, go out to Las Vegas. There is a place even out in Las Vegas you'd have a lot of fun at. It was called Little Off the Top. And actually, these gals, they were topless, completely topless, and uh, get your hair cut. But it actually closed, it's, I think it was around 6. It wasn't open past 6. And so, I got thinking about a couple other things, too. Let's just check this out for a second. I want to see something. Let's just ask something. Haircutting salons that are open till midnight in Kansas City. Available. Listing's not available because it's showing that there isn't any. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. 
So I thought, well, I'll ask about out in Las Vegas. Haircutting salons open till midnight in Las Vegas, Nevada. The opening hours for this listing aren't available. Well, they're not available. Now, that's where I kind of think that's kind of strange because, put it this way, if out in Las Vegas, if they ain't open that late, out west, Kansas City? I don't know. You know, we had a whole bunch of these places pop up, like I say. I don't know. I, I mean, I lost count 25, 30. I mean, and this was during that time period. But what else could you use that for? Those locations like that, if you're open late. Hmm. It reminds me back to the old days, way back when the, the mob, you know, the, the Italians, the mob, they used to, uh, you know, that's where they used to talk at the barber shops. And uh, it just uh, made me kind of think a few things. Especially if you were moving stuff, moving drugs, doing other different things. And being open at 11, 45 at night. Oh, hold on, guys. All right, I'm back. Now, well, this is that Blue View Shopping Center. It's 11, 45 at night, and I see these vehicles over there. And I can see, look like somebody was sitting in the barber chair. Look like. 11.45? I don't know. That just, that looked a little strange to me. Now, I wouldn't be suspicious of this at all, but I, a younger lady that I talked to told me that some of the stuff that was going on over in these areas over here, that this shopping center in this area had brought some other bad stuff in. That was just a rumor, though. I don't know. Interesting, though, guys. Very interesting. Okay, I'm back, guys. But I just figured, you know, if Las Vegas don't even keep their shops open that late, why would somebody have theirs open at 11.45 at night? Probably nothing. I did a search on that a little off the top, too. I actually used to have a, even a, a business card from that place. Now, uh, there was somebody that was doing a search trying to find it, I guess, out there. Couldn't find it. I don't think it... I, uh, when I looked for it, it didn't even show... It, there's a place out there, but I don't think it's the same one anymore. But uh, it was showing that if, if there is, they just have like a lingerie now. I had a good conversation with that gal there. Believe it or not, her uh, boyfriend was a uh, elevator repairman. And during way back at that time period, so we found out about the Luxor. So you know the Luxor Pyramid? I'll give you some other information, guys. I learned a lot here. That pyramid was sinking. Okay, guys? When they, when they built it, they did something wrong. The foundation wasn't correct. They didn't check. They didn't go down far enough. Something happened. So that's why they built that other, like, hotel part to it on the other side, that other building, to stabilize it. Why I know this is because that gal's boyfriend told me that he had to work on the elevators that went up, kind of goes 45 degree angles, and uh, they were having massive problems with the elevators because the ground was shifting and was putting those elevators in the bind. Now, people were riding those things, and nobody knew anything about it. <laughs> what do you think about that? But anyway, they got it. I guess put that other building over there, put that other uh, their big hotel that's off to the side, stabilized in some way. It was interesting, guys. See? Well, I just learned a lot. But like I say, uh, I don't know. Very interesting about some of this stuff. You know, I just, I don't know. Maybe just something that they're doing. Usually Kansas City ain't the first to get anything done. Usually the West or usually the East Coast or the West Coast usually always have stuff. I just, 
find it really interesting something's open that way. And then it brings up a lot of other implications too. I get to think about like the health department, you know, health department goes out, checks the codes at any time and stuff. But I mean, who would be checking it that late? You know, I mean, like if, you know, they check those places to make sure they're up to code, you know, all those, uh, they're supposed to have all the cleaning stuff, you know, like, you know, for people, like if they got lice or something like that, the hair, they, they check for all that stuff in there, the health department does. But I was thinking, who would, nobody be out working that light, would they? I don't know. That's kind of weird, guys. Anyway, keep your eyes open. I got more videos coming. I'm still working on these rooms, which, like I said, it's, it, it, I am, I'm not getting as much videos out there of the zoo because I'm doing other work here right now. But I'll be getting some more out again. Plus, it's been about 22 degrees. Most of the animals are not out unless you go to, the, like, the tropics or to, like, the, the penguins area and stuff like that. So as soon as it kind of warms up, we'll be getting more videos of those out there again, guys. And uh, eyes open and have a good weekend out there.